y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Seneca Red here for another makeup video. If you want to see how I got this completed look, just stick around and let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So I like to start out with a primer. So I use this Mary Kay primer. You can see that it is almost completely empty. I love this stuff and I just put this all over my face. So I still like to use my IT foundation. You can see that this is also empty. It is the same stuff I've been using the entire time. It is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream and this is in shade Light. I sometimes put it on a brush but recently I've just been going and putting it on my face as such and just using my beauty blender to just blend it all around. I'm gonna zoom in just so I can see myself better. I don't know, I see people and they're like like with their freaking blender, but I honestly, I hate doing that. It feels so weird. So I just try to blend it all in. So the next thing that I like to go in with is the Tarte Concealer. I am in shade Fair Neutral, or pretty much the whitest shade that they have, which doesn't exactly match this foundation perfectly, but I just go with it because I'm only kind of tan for like 12 days out of the year, so I just, I make myself look kind of decent with this stuff, but you can just see how light it really is on my fair little skin. And I don't really know what I'm doing, but I see people go under their under eyes, and then I notice for myself that my chin is never good. Like, I don't know if the foundation just doesn't stick to my chin or what happens, but I'd always just go in like that and then bring it up and just do some little facial painting here. I think this is going to complete the look today. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> just kidding. It's a little bit light for me, but I just, I make it work, I guess. I've been doing this thing recently where I'll go do my eye next and then I'll come back and like put setting powder and all that stuff on it. So I think I'm going to do that because that's the habit I've been getting into. So I'm going to start with my brows and they definitely need waxed, but that's okay. I just, I'll get to it. So I'm using my brow definer, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is in the shade Caramel. And this is really hard to do in a viewfinder. I use the Gimme Brow Brow Mascara. So this is in the shade 1. And I love this stuff. I think it's a game changer for the eyebrow world. Lately I've been using this Too Faced eyeshadow primer. I think it works really nicely. My eyeshadow stayed on for so long and I just put it of course all over my eyelid. So the eyeshadow palette I'm using today I never have really talked about. I've always had high hopes to do a whole video on this but never have. So this is the Shan XO eyeshadow palette. This is the original palette. She does have two. This one has nine eyeshadows on one side and then if you flip it around it has nine lip colors, which I've only played just a little bit with, not too much, but the eyeshadow is my favorite. It has these really nice nine pretty shades. I love them. They're really nice on my skin tones, especially in the fall. They're just those warmer type of tones. She does have a new palette out that has nine eyeshadows on each side. It's the Remix palette, which I really want to get right now. I just have this one, and I like it, so I'm going to just play around. Today, I'm wearing this like maroon shirt with a little bit of gold accent. So I'm going to probably just play off of that and create a look that way. So when I create an eyeshadow look, I really never know where I'm going to start. I just, I kind of try to start with like the darker shades on my lid and then work my way up. I'm going to use this middle shade to start out with. I like that, just a goldish brown. I like her palette a lot. I think it's very pigmented. They're very nice. You can see the colors immediately when you put them on and they're very blendable and stackable. But you can tell right now, I just love it already. It's a good start. It's not too dramatic, but you can make it dramatic if you want to, so I like that. None of these shades have names, so I'm gonna just start with this lighter kind of champagne tone here for my crease. 
So I'm gonna go in with my outer corner and I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's kind of a darker champagne-y pink. So I've been getting better at like exploring on how to like do things with my eyeshadow a little bit better. I'm just literally just kind of blotting it on there. I don't know if it looks any good, but that's what I've been doing. So then I just complete my look by using like the lightest shade that she has right here just to kind of blend it all in together. I get up against the brow and just kind of blend in the corner what I just did. And I use this mascara. This was given to me. It is the Black Magic. I guess the E is the brand. I really don't know, but it's just the Black Magic mascara. I like this because it just pops out like that, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, did you see that? This is why I never make these videos because I suck. I need like a mirror like the size of a wall to make it look somewhat okay. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Whew, okay. That was rough. We got a moment there. We lost track of what we were doing and now we're here, okay? So, I'm kinda glad I didn't put any set finishing powder or anything yet, setting powder, whatever it is, because I messed up majorly. I'm glad I came downstairs to do my makeup because I've had my brand new setting powder down here forever since I've done my Ulta Hobby Lobby haul and I just never brought it upstairs. Oh, okay, this one, okay, I'm glad I'm doing this on camera. This is the Airbrush Perfecting Powder from the IT Cosmetic line in the shade Light. However, this is the Illumination one. So I have not tried this one, but this is the Illumination. Okay, cool, let's open it up. I'm glad I'm on camera for this. So, it looks the same. So it looks the same to me. So it's Illumination, is it supposed to have like some sparkle in there? I don't know if it's supposed to have like sparkle or shimmer in there, but I don't see anything. All right, let's see. I don't see any sparkle. Is it supposed to have like sparkle in it? Maybe it's not. I don't see any sparkle in this and I don't see any sparkle on my face. So maybe it's just supposed to, I don't know why it's supposed to be Illumination. Regardless, I'm glad I bought some new powder because I really needed some, so. Okay, so we're almost done here. I have a couple things left. I'm now gonna use this. So this is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Blush Palette. So I really only use these two shades here mostly. So I'm actually just gonna go in with the lighter shade today. Just do a little blush here. And then I just add a little bit of highlighter. Too Faced Love Light Blinded by Light Highlighter. This was such a spur of the moment purchase a couple months back, but I like it. The ladies at the store said it's best if you like tap it like that, like tap it on, you're supposed to, that way you get the best highlight, I suppose. Last step of my makeup routine is gonna be lip color. Okay, so I'm zoomed back in. So you can see the highlighter, I love it. It always has been nice, you can just see the sheen to my face and then just a light blush with the eyeshadow and all that jazz. So I'm going to choose from this Bite liquid lipstick. I bought this as like a little gift set thingy. I don't know. Christmas time is the best time to go to the makeup store because you can get all of these like sample kits and stuff so I'm a sucker for that stuff. I love Bite. I've always loved Bite lip products. They last so nicely. I love the lip crowns the best. This, however, is the liquid lipstick, and there are four shades in here. So I'm thinking of wearing the braised color today. Oh, I'm missing one. Gosh, I must have used it already. So what do we have in here? So we have three colors here. I'm gonna use the braised color. I always smell stuff. Do you smell things when you use it? Wow, a little, this goes such a long way too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a close-up of the braised color. I like this a lot. A little bit of this product went a long way. Like, wow, that's so nice. Here is the finished look of my makeup for today. Um, I tried out the Shan XO eyeshadow palette. This is the original palette. I also tried out the It Cosmetics. I have 
the foundation and the setting powder, which I thought this was illumination. I thought it would be a little sparkly, but I guess it's just regular powder, but that's okay. And then I also tried out the little bite liquid lipsticks here in the shade Braze. So those were the key features of today that I like to use. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I would love it if you'd leave a comment on what your favorite makeup products are, whether it's some of the ones that I've used, or what your favorite shade of lipstick is. So I have so many lipsticks, it's my favorite thing. Let me know below in the comments if you would love to see a tour of my lipstick drawer because yes, I have that many. I need a drawer to hold all of my lipsticks. So let me know if you would like to see all the lipsticks that I own. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!